This is Jupiter Today for the 9th of April, 2015. Jupiter Today is a daily podcast focusing attention on the dynamic Jupiter system for the purpose of monitoring activity. So today there's six Jupiter satellite events and two mutual satellite events. EO begins the day in quadrant three heading west, but very near its western elongation, going to be moving into quadrant four heading east. Europa starts the day just ending its transit of Jupiter and going to be going into quadrant three heading west. Ganymede starts the day in quadrant three heading west. And Callisto starts today in quadrant four heading east, but going to be moving behind Jupiter today. At zero hours 46 minutes, the shadow of Europa egresses. At 1.45 UTC, Eo goes through an apogee. That's the furthest it's going to be from Jupiter. It's 423,557.8 kilometers. And then from 3.52 to 3.56 UTC, Europa occults Eo. It's a four minute event with an impact parameter of 0.581 arc seconds and an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.173 magnitudes and 72.06 arc seconds from Jupiter. At 4.43 UTC, Callisto reappears from behind Jupiter. The phase angle is now large enough so that Callisto is first observed moving behind Jupiter, moves behind Jupiter, comes out from behind Jupiter, is visible to Earth for a while, and then moves into Jupiter's shadow over here. At 5.38 to 5.42 UTC, Europa eclipses Eo. It's a 3.9 minute event with an impact parameter 0.733 arc seconds and a pretty shallow magnitude flux drop of 0.134 magnitudes, 49.29 arc seconds from Jupiter, and Europa and Eo are 44.18 arc seconds apart. By six hours UTC, Eo has passed its western elongation and is now firmly in quadrant four heading east, and Callisto continues its motion behind Jupiter. At 8.47 UTC, Eo moves behind Jupiter, at 11.03 UTC, Callisto disappears into Jupiter's shadow. By 12 hours UTC, Eo has moved behind Jupiter and is going to be reappearing from it soon. At 12.15 UTC, Eo reappears from Jupiter's shadow. And, from and at 15.49, Callisto reappears from Jupiter's shadow. By 18 hours UTC, Eo is firmly in quadrant one, heading east. Europa is near its western elongation, going to be going into quadrant four. And Ganymede is at its western elongation, going to be also going into quadrant four, heading east. At 22:21, Europa goes through a perigee. That's the closest it's going to be to Jupiter in this orbit, and that's 664,829.8 kilometers. And then at 2301 UTC, Eo goes through a perigee, and that's 420,044.2 kilometers. And then by zero hours UTC, Eo has passed its eastern elongation and is now in quadrant two, heading west. Europa is past its western elongation and is in quadrant four, heading east, and Callisto the same. Ganymede the same, and Callisto is now firmly in quadrant one, heading east. Orbital ribbons for today. These are the temporal and spatial connections between the four Galilean moons, and to me these look like ribbons that have been twisted. So here's Eo and Europa, Eo and Ganymede, Eo and Callisto, Europa and Ganymede, Europa, Callisto, and finally Ganymede and Callisto. And I combine all of these and colorize them a little bit. 
to get that for today. And that's a very interesting pattern. 24 hours of Jupiter sky. This is going to be from Europa's point of view today. So you can see Jupiter here along with the other moons. So let's give this a run and see what happens over the next 24 hours on Europa. The red spot crosses Jupiter's meridian three times today. First at 3.39, second at 13.34, and the third at 23.30 UTC. There were some new images posted. And there was no new radio data and no new papers. So at zero hours UTC, the position of Jupiter on Earth's celestial sphere is a right ascension of 9 hours, 0 minutes, 28.6 seconds, and a declination of positive 18 degrees, 0 minutes, 15.9 seconds. The angular separation between Jupiter and the Sun, as seen from Earth, is 113.761 degrees and that's 0.984 degrees less than what it was yesterday. The phase angle, the angle between Jupiter and the Earth, as the Sun and Earth as seen from Jupiter, is 9.863 degrees, and that's 0 0.079 degrees greater than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Earth today is 728,275,276 kilometers, and that's 2,180,301 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And that gives a radial velocity between Jupiter and the Earth of 90,845.88 kilometers per hour. And that's 708.17 kilometers per hour faster than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Sun is 800,443,940 kilometers and that's 43,592 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And that gives a radial velocity between Jupiter and the Sun of 1,816.33 kilometers per hour. And that's 2.3 kilometers per hour slower than what it was yesterday. The central meridian at zero hours UTC, CM1, 58.39, CM2, 326.15 degrees, CM3, 250.97 degrees. So please subscribe, and thank you to all of those who are subscribing and watching. This does happen every day, unless there are some technical difficulties. So you can send your comments and questions, suggestions, images to the email shown. And until tomorrow, I bid you peace.